horrible creatures pour off my hood! That young woman was certainly in a hurry. And what was that about an adorable and an attack? Yes, well, let's be on our guard then. I don't think this sinkhole is completely natural. Its size concerns me. If the ground continues to fall away, it could swallow all of Relinfield. It certainly feels dangerous. And if it does figure into the Court of Bedlin's plans, well, I can't think of a more frightening event than watching Relinfield get swallowed by a sinkhole. The walls and ceiling, they don't look stable. I'll try to reinforce the weak spots and catch up with you. Creatures. Be careful. The size of this place. It's almost as if someone dug up through the island. I'll teleport closer to the central area and meet you there. Joining the court of Bedlam, espousing the virtues of our Ultima heritage. When we heard that they planned to re release those creatures, I made the mistake of saying they were insane. Natural objected, called me unworthy. That's what he stabbed me. The court of Bedlam will eradicate the lesser races. Maybe even deal with our unworthy queen. Over here. Keep quiet, and tell me if you see what I see. You see that, right? My eyes aren't playing tricks on me. That's a sea slode. A vile and dangerous species. Very powerful. The sea slode come from the distant underwater kingdom of Ulvorkus. Who's that hooded figure with the slode? And look, more of those abyssal pearls. The hooded figure could be a member of this so-called Court of Bedlam. They could certainly have a connection to the sea slode submerged kingdom, but they appear to have been placed down here. Look how the Yagra are drawn to them. Feed me, my creatures! Destroy the intruders! That young 
idiot. We need to get over there. Witness the power of Katora the Abyssal Cabal! there. No sign of where the sea slow disappeared to. Damn it! I wasn't fast enough. For the time being, let's see what's through that opening. The sea slow left us something to remember it by. We need to dispatch that creature. Somehow Raz 
Cease, Loads. This is worse than the right master imagined. Meet me in our tent. Did the pretty Sijik say Cease, Lord? No. Raz must have heard wrong. That could not have been what she said. Slod, that's bad. And Sea Slod, that sounds even worse. If the Sea Slod threatens Somerset, Queen Irene must be informed. We need to act. Wait, what did you say about the Canon Reeve's son? Daedra worshippers in Somerset. And Slod. Oh, Roz likes this situation less and less. As for Nedoro, Raz knows how to deal with traitors. Which one could he possibly be? The Eye of the Queen? How dare you accuse my son of treason? The Queen's Eye? How dare he not identify himself when he first arrived? And how dare he accuse my foolish son of something as serious as treason? The Queen shall hear of this, mark my words. Sea slowed? Plus all this nonsense about Altma's superiority, and now, murder? I am the Cannon Reeve of Relenthil. I took an oath to serve and protect my community. How? Oh, Nadoril, what have you done? Please, you must talk to the Queen's eye. He needs to show mercy. I'm sure we can find a way to resolve this without... Oh, here comes Nadoril now. Foolishness can be ignored. Murder and treason, not so much. You and your queen have no authority over a true Ultima, you mangy cat. This one cannot allow your crimes to stand unanswered. Nadoril! No! No! I understand. Relenthil is loyal to the Queen. Sometimes the eye sees treason and must cut it out before it spreads. Blasphemy, treason, murder. How many crimes must one commit to attract the attention of the Executioner's Blade? Raz decided that a message had to be sent. Treason and the Queen's justice are serious business. Raz has been forced into this role on rare occasions, but he never seeks it out or looks forward to wielding the blade. <sighs> no. Raz will see to the Cannon Reeve and send word to the Queen before looking deeper into the Court of Bedlam. You should return to Arteum and let the Sijiks know what we learn. I tell you, Five Claw, this whole situation makes Raz want to hiss.
Ah, friend of Valserin. I've been informed that you encountered a sea slowed in a sinkhole beneath Relenthiel. That bodes ill for Somerset, perhaps all of Nern. I fear there are difficult days ahead. I'm familiar with that particular sea slowed and its renegades. Call themselves the Abyssal Cabal. I thought I defeated them long ago, but it appears I was in error. Val described those seaborne monstrosities. I have a vague recollection of Katora utilizing such creatures in the past, but for some reason, the memories refuse to snap into focus. I... The Daedric Princes require minions to carry out their will, and the Slode have always had an interest in the green and pleasant island. It isn't hard to see why they might work together. I asked the Conclave of the Eleven Forces to ponder how we can learn more from the Abyssal Pearl. With the additional information you provided, I expect that Iridel or Amalira will be able to develop a new avenue of investigation now. The augury ritual revealed the connection to the Court of Bedlam and pointed to trouble in Relenthiel. Now we need to determine where Katora and the Sea Slodes are hiding. The Abyssal Pearl should be able to point us in the right direction. Meet me in the main gallery. We can consult with the rest of the Conclave and use the scrying pool to continue our probe of the Pearl. Right, Master! The Abyssal Pearl! It's gone! Gone? How? I set the protections personally! How could the Abyssal Pearl disappear like that? It makes no A few hours ago, we left it in the scrying pool in the main gallery while the members of the Conclave of the Eleven Forces went to deal with other matters of importance. When I yes, that's standard procedure when dealing with an unknown relic. But that just makes the Pearl's disappearance more troubling. The Conclave serves as the Order's ruling body. It takes its name from the Eleven Forces of Nature that we revere and follow as part of the Old Ways. See what the scrying pool reveals. There's something happening on the beach. It's the Agra. They're invading Arteum. The Pearl. Somehow it was used to summon the Yagra. We need to defend the beach. Wait. Is that a sword? That would be mine. I'm on my way to help. Eventually. The Golden Knight and his sword can wait. The Yagra are our primary concern. The scrying pool revealed that Yagra have invaded our island. They must have somehow used the Abyssal Pearl to open a pathway. We need the Sea Slode have always been envious of Arteum and its secrets. From the beach, they can reach the ruins of the College of Sigix, where we store relics and other items of arcane significance. If that's a mystery we can solve after we deal with the immediate problem. We need to get down to the beach, destroy the Pearl, and close the Yagra's portal. Will you aid me in these endeavors? Follow the right, Master. I'll portal myself and meet you there. My word! Welcome to our Deum, Traveller. I... Let me accompany you. You need to rally the others. Your friend and I should be able to handle this. We can reach the beach through this section of the old college.
Hurry, this way. Before we charge into certain danger, you need to know something isn't right. I remember defeating Katora, but somehow the creature and its cabal have returned. And the Pearl. I have a vague memory of moving it myself. I am... unsettled. That's just it. The vague memory. It feels as though it belongs to someone else. Forgive me. We can worry about that later. Now, Very good. After the Pearl is destroyed, we need to search the vaults and make sure none of the creatures breach the defenses. Destroy it and close that portal. This way! Hurry! These ancient vaults house relics of great power and unusual nature. I sense... Yes, Katora is here. The Sea Sloat, or one of its agents. I can think of a number of likely candidates, including a few relics we believe originated in the ancient Sea Sloat kingdom of Ulverkus. Daedra, they sealed the chamber. The has sealed this place, place, mortal flea! Barrier of webs. Burn it away so we can enter the rotunda. Daedric intrusion? My apologies. Daedric interference and Arteum's own defenses delayed my arrival. Mafala's webs? Oh, I hate those things! Allow me. Damn it! You found me again! I'll return when I can! A champion of Meridia? At least he was helpful. I killed you. I remember our battle as clear as day. You remember exactly what I want you to remember. And thanks to the orbs of Brock and Drell, your deepest memories will be mine. 
Backbone? This does not concern the likes of you! Out here, quickly! We need to hurry if we're going to help the right master. It's a good thing I followed you after I alerted the rest of the Conclave. It's a good thing I followed you after I alerted the rest of the Conclave. Keturah is using the power of the Orbs of Barakandrel to enhance his mind magic and lock the Rightmaster in a mental grip. An ancient implement. Three matched orbs that our Relic Master believes originated in the Sea of Pearls. We long suspected they were connected to the Sea Slode. Katura thinks the power of the Relic will keep us from interfering. But I have an idea. Take this Ward Key. It will disable the protections on the repositories so you can locate the Ulvor staff and bring it to me.
We're running out of time. Whatever the sea sloat searches for in the right master's mind, I believe it is close to finding it. Have you excellent? And it appears to be in perfect condition. Not we. You. I need to remain here to anchor you to the physical world. And you're going into Keturah's mind. We'll... Keturah's mindscape is the perfect place to hurt the sea sloat. It's where he's most vulnerable. In a... Touch the Ovo stuff and enter the mindscape. 